Poof. What's going on YouTube? So today I'll be showing you um, well, basically how to run training mode on on Ficade with a third strike. Since third strike for Ficade, you only get the arcade version, so you only play against the computer or against a human opponent with the online features of Ficade. But it doesn't really have a training option. You know, because you're only running the ROM. Uh, if you want a trading mode, you would originally have to have like a 30th anniversary, which has a training mode included. Or if you have your console that has uh, the online edition of Third Strike, that has a training mode. But there's no, uh, there's no like, definitive version of training mode for, for the Ficade until now. Well. Just recently, I guess. I'm not sure when it came out, but it's very useful. It's better than the 30th anniversary, in my opinion. It's just on par with online edition training mode. But this does have like way more features, like has hitboxes and all these other things. We'll, we'll get into it. So, so what you want to do is, I'm going to leave this link in the description for you guys. So you don't have to look for it. It's, it'll be in the description. So you want to hit, so once you're here, you hit code, download zip. I already downloaded it once, but I'm just doing it again with you guys. Uh, all right, so show the folder. Don't mind the Shadow of the Hedgehog images. All right, so, so this is what, this is basically what you get. Um, this zip file. As with any zip file, you want to extract it. Um, there's only a few zip files you don't extract, for example, ROMs. But you do extract this one. So this is it. This is like the final uh, version of it. You should get this data, images, Lua, saved. Third, training Lua. This is basically the, the XE file for it. But you don't run, it doesn't run off itself. I'll show you how to run it in just a second. So now that we got, now that we extracted it and we know where it's at, I put it on my desktop just so it's easy to find for me. I'm not struggling later. Um, so this is Third Strike. I mean, this is the, the lobby for Third Strike for 5K. It's, it's always popping off. You get some good games in. Um, so now I'll show you how to run it. So basically, you hit test game. You want to make sure you already have the ROM for Third Strike. If you don't know how to get the ROM, you can look up my tutorial on the how to get the Third Strike and the ROM pack. So I won't be showing you how to get the ROM. I'm only showing you how to get training mode. So this is training mode. I'm assuming... Um, I'm gonna assume you already know how to set up your buttons with F5 if you have a stick. Um, you should already have it like set up. You know, you sh I would assume you already know how to set up the game. So basically what you wanna do is set it up as you're gonna play with the computer, like the arcade. But um, for player two side, you wanna um, I just paused. So for player two side, you're gonna need to like assign some buttons for player two. What I did was on my keyboard, I I assigned um, like if I was playing second player on my keyboard. So example, I could press zero and that's start for player two, and I use W A S D for like up down or whatever. Not that it matters, but you kind of want to do this just so that you don't have to like be struggling later. So just assign, you know, light punch, medium punch, heavy punch to like I, O, P, and then light kick, medium kick, and um, roundhouse to like the semicolon or whatever. It's just so that you have like some buttons for player two. So you don't have to have them, but it actually helps out a lot, so you don't, so you're not fumbling 
because you do need to use player two side for this script to work out easily. So you so you say I'm playing by myself, right? So I'm training. I want to hit training mode. I'm a big can hit my super, but I turn tune up player two side, and I'll, I'll let's say I want to I'll use Chun. I say I want to practice against a Chun Li. So I I pick. I pick her, I pick her super. I already assigned my buttons for player 2. So that's that. You only need them to select the character really. To do like recordings or whatever. You actually go back to player 1 side. So you that's the only reason why you want to assign buttons on player 2 side. To uh, so the first time just to select the character. So now it's just versus mode. Me versus the computer. And you see she loses health and she'll die. She gets stunned, and you should die, and she'll get the round. So this is basic, uh, basic versus mode, offline. So now let's run that that um, that Lua script, which is basically training mode. So you uh, top of the, I didn't full screen it for this specific reason, because you need to do this. It does this little toolbar it won't come out on full screen mode. It only comes out like on semi full screen. See what I'm saying? I'm windowed mode basically. So there's this tab right here, a game. You hit it, and section number two says Lua script scripting. This shows up, and you hit new. And you get the second menu here, and you hit uh, browse. So on browse, you go back to where we first found that folder. Remember, I told you. I uh, extracted it and I, I knew where it was. I said it's in my desktop, and it's it's it starts with the number, so it's it's gonna be above letters, so it's kind of easy to find. So here it is. It's the folder. I want to open it, and there's this third training Lua. This is the script. So you want to hit open, and then just run it. And it's gonna, the game's gonna freeze for a minute. Now I'm gonna go back to this mode. Actually, now I don't. Now that it's running, I don't even need it, a windowed mode. I'm gonna just go ahead and go ahead and go full screen mode. So now, as you can see, like below the character's name, there's a like if, I, if I'm going back, it'll show. Well, I'm going back. I'm going forward. I press shows. I'm going forward. Holding down. I could jump. I'm pressing light kick, medium kick, heavy kick. You know, short, forward, roundhouse. Jab, strong, fierce, die punt. It shows the, all these buttons. Oh, but she's still losing health. Well, the thing about it is you press start, and now you you get you get like the second menu here. And this is where the fun of this um you hit life refill, you just infinite. This is where basically the training mode comes in because now. Now I, I set the computer, the training mode, to have infinite health, disable stun, so she won't, she won't get stunned. I won't have to worry about her getting stunned. Or let's say you're working on a combo that's like specific to like stun. I don't know. Let's say you're playing necro and you're trying to do like electric snake off a of stun, and you want to work off a combo like that. Then you want to enable the stun. But I don't need. I don't. I don't mind if it, a stun is enabled or not. So I just I just go ahead and turn it off. I don't need stun enabled for my like for when I practice. Man, I can't even hit this to save my life. But well, you get the point. And so you could also um go ahead and put infinite meter, meter refill mode, infinite or you assign it how you want to refill it. I just put it infinite. I don't really like to tinker too much. So now I have infinite meter, and she'll have infinite meter too. PC. And now you see the timer is locked to ninety nine. That's because it's not gonna decrease. You know, you basically just put the game in training mode, as in like any other training mode, like in thirtieth or uh, online edition. So now what else you could do is. You could you could set um like the exact buttons you're playing, and it counts your frames. 
like the last frame you press, how many frames it's taking you to press another frame, stuff like that. So if you want to hit see the buttons you're pressing, you go ahead and show that that uh, that history thing. Input history. I usually send it to no, it kind of gets annoying. But I'm just showing you guys like all the all the options there are. Display hitboxes. If you want to be sure when, you know, just how hitboxes work. If I don't even know, how, I didn't have any idea on how really hitboxes work. Man, I don't really like to get into it, but it's there. See so it. Some see her hitbox is that purple one. So when my blue hits, I think it's the red. Well, I mean, you could get, I guess you get into it. See how the, my fist has no hitbox? Oh, except for like that fragment, the red. That will hit her. It's got like a few frames startup, basically. So if you want to see hitboxes, there you, got, here you go. This is something online edition and 30th don't have. They don't have hitboxes. So this is where um, this training mode is pretty cool. It's got these like extra added features. Um, so that, and now the the biggest part, just like kind of like my favorite, is uh like assigning these. You know, you could assign if you press the coin button twice. Um, you you take control of player two. So it's uh, that's that's like perfect. I don't know how to play chunk. I know that works. Um, I know this works for Chun too. That's like her best shit. <laughs> but I, I don't know much about Chun Li. It's just I want to practice. I'm just practicing with, against her. She's a true villain. But so now that I'm taking control of Chun Li, I press the coin. So I pressed it, the coin button twice. I put the coin button like on set on my stick. So it's easy to hit. Um, so I press it twice. I take control of player two, and now I press it one more time, and I'll be able to record like a special move. So if I hit record, and I say I want a super, and I end my recording by pressing it again. So I'm back to Ken because I ended the recording. So now I'm back to Ken. And now if I press the coin button just once, if you if I press it twice, I'm gonna do another recording. And that's going to overwrite my previous recording. So I don't want to do that. So if you don't want to overwrite your recordings, you go to like, there's a lot of slots for them. You got eight slots. So if you want against like, uh, like different setups or different moves. <coughs> Excuse me. So I say like slot two, I'm, like I want to record like a, like a separate super with the punches. I'll sign that. So I don't have to erase my, my double motion kick, you know, it's a, it's saved on slot one. I could use slot two or slot three, slot two, eight. So save other recordings. And it only records your inputs. So basically if you have another character with a similar input, like, like Ken, Ken uses a kick super two. So if this was Ken, if Chun-Li was Ken, um, I hit, I hit, I will hit, the coin button one more time and show like super because she's she's assigned to do that that was the recording i just did so that's the cool thing about that is let's say you will not well i guess i recorded that too look too slow i'll see if i get it no i'll get it <laughs> oh so man well i you get my point right i guess you could say you, you're trying to like you could train this is how this is training mode basically you now you're training to like parry her super or you won't parry someone else's super ah, too bad I slowed down too hard let me record that again uh, 
All right, so that's that's an easier recording. So now if I press it, it should do it instantly because I fixed it. I lagged less. So now, so now I gave myself a, a good training option, right? For oh shit. But I guess I hope you get my point on how like how to use recording mode, and I hope you figure out how to use it too, because it's very useful. Um. So let me show you this other thing. Like if you wanna, if you need to switch. Oh, so. So something else, I got, I'll give you my, my pro tips. Um, so if you hit, let's say, let's exit out of full screen mode. I'm gonna hit game here, and I'm gonna go to save states, and I'm gonna just, and I'm gonna save state. And I just replace it. I don't care. So. I just saved that state, right? <clears throat> um, so now let's hit F3, just to reset the, the ROM, you know, reset the console or whatever. So you, you still have, I still have the Lua script running, so I don't have to run it again. So basically what that means is I have to use my keyboard to select player two. So let's say, remember I saved it for, uh, for Ken. As in, like his kick super. So my recording before was quarter circle forward, quarter circle forward, a kick. So now he's gonna do even if he since he's a different character, it doesn't matter because his input is the same thing for that super as well. So if I do that, see he he uh he does the same input, and since Chun Li SA two. And Ken's SA3 is the same input. He he will he will do it since it's basically the same motion. And um, I'm not gonna save this state. I don't, I don't think I need it. But now let's see. I want I'm gonna show you the the other one. If I wanna not overwrite my saves, I'll use a or he's Dudley. You know, he has a, a with the punch, he uses a punch. He doesn't use a kick. So I got Lua script still running, so there's no need to worry. We're still in, I'm still in training mode. So if I press the re the replay, um oh, why isn't it doing it? Oh I guess it reset it. Oh, that's weird. So I might just do the punches one. Oh well. Boop. Well, for some reason, the the thing deleted its. It kind of like deleted itself. But what was supposed to happen was I was supposed to save. Um, it was supposed to save itself. The, the slot too. Uh, maybe I overrided it. I'm not sure. So. But yeah. Okay. So now. Hopefully this is SA2. So now I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna show you how like, let's say you exit out of training mode, like you don't want to play, play anymore, and you come back like the next day, and you hit test game. So you don't have to like assign everything again. You just hit a save states, load state. And remember, I think it was this one. And it's gonna go back to where I was playing Chun Li. And now you do have to run the Lua script again. So I gotta find it. 
Oh, can't run. Now you kind of back. Now we're back in that training mode before I even like when I saved it. So uh, that saves me like a time. So you could do like multiple save states versus like different characters. I guess I should have done that for Dudley too or Ken. And she still has her. She still has her save states. Um, like in the loaded up. Whoops. Well, it's training, I guess. So I think uh, we'll wrap it up. Hopefully, um, you guys got like a, a clear grasp. Whoops. I don't know how Daigo did it. <laughs> oh yeah, her super is eight hits in the corner. So if you're in the corner against Chun-Li, you got a, a Shoto. That super hits eight times. If you're mid screen, it'll hit seven. If you she has you in the corner, it's eight, because she gets an extra kick on you. But anyway, um, that's gonna do it. It's gonna wrap it up. How to set up training mode. Hopefully, you learned something. You know, you could hit me up in the comments if you got questions or need some help. I'll try my best to get at you. Um, usually pretty quick on that. Also, I'll, I'm gonna leave my my twitch account i stream i stream uh we stream third strike tournaments every friday night so if you're interested you know stop by and watch but anyway thanks a lot for watching catch you all later peace